Welcome back on the program is Frank Camacho. He's got a huge fight coming up here against Damian Brown at UFC Fight Night 121 on November 18th. Frank, what's going on? How are you? Very good, very good, man. I'm just super excited and uh, man, nice. And thanks for having me on the show again. No, it's uh, great to talk to you. You're always such a positive guy. I remember that from the last interview we did. And uh, I noticed, <laughs> for, I noticed for uh, for this fight, you're uh, dropping back down to lightweight for this one. Uh, what's sort of the reason for that? You just feel more comfortable at that weight class? Um, yeah, I feel I feel more comfortable. And then you know, uh, actually, after the the Lee fight in uh, Singapore, we just landed in um, in Korea on our way back to back home. And I was just like, I was like, man, you know, like I was like, coach. Uh, I would just be a, you know, like a, like a race car, you know, you just take a race car and, and, and you're like, man, you take out the air conditioning, you take out the extra seats, you know, you put big tires, big engine, big gas tank, you know, and, and uh, at 170, I'm not really that uh, optimum race car, you know what I mean? So at 155, I think this is where, where I need to be, especially for the, the level of the UFC. And have you had to change much in your diet to get down to 155? Uh, yeah, just a little bit more preparation. Um, man, I'm, and I'm a stocky island boy, you know, so I don't know. It's just, it's just like, oh, and then, and then, and then especially in the islands when the food is really, really good. So, uh, yeah, it just, it just takes like, like a professional athlete, right? Uh, I, I work, I, I'm, I'm working with George Lockhart, so I'm actually waiting for him to text. I'm not too sure, uh, if he's probably busy right now, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're right around the corner, you know, and, uh, I can't wait to, you know, so I, I, I see abs. I see like the bottom two abs. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. No, that, yeah. that that's excellent. And and of course, you have a full camp for this, which is great because uh, you know, for those, I'm, I'm sure most people know, but in case they don't, your last fight was short notice, and uh, I mean, it's tough to to try and uh, you know get prepared, uh, you know, when you got short notice fight like that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it, I'm really, I'm really glad that uh, that I've had um, like six to eight weeks of preparation for Damian Brown. Uh, it's just so nice, you know. It's just so nice every day. Every day, I'm just getting more confident and more confident, and just the approach of training and the mindset of of having a full camp for a UFC fight is just uh, it's been a positive experience. I'm super, yeah, it's like it's great. And it's not often you see a fighter lose a fight and get so much positive feedback after that fight, but that is, is exactly what happened with you. And of course, you got the performance of the night bonus. Um, you know, what, what do you sort of take away the most from your last fight? And do you, do you sort of uh, you know smile knowing that you kind of gave it your all, and fans were really impressed by it? Yeah, you know, so you know, after after the fight, I remember getting on the bus. Uh, I remember getting on the bus with my coach, and you know, I was bummed. I was like, I was really just just thinking, like, man, what am I gonna do? Like, uh, you know, is the UFC gonna have me come back? You know, man, I, I I messed up on this opportunity. And then I just remember getting on my phone and uh, and watching the press conference, you know, from from my from uh from my phone, and you know, they were announcing, oh, Holly Holm, uh, performance of the night, Sasaki, and then uh, fight of the night, Leech and 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 Camacho, you know, and I, I just kind of like, I was like, whoa, yeah, you know, it kind of it kind of struck me, and then I, I kind of started tearing, right, and I was talking to my coach, I was like, uh, not so much about the 50k, right, I mean, right at the moment, you know, right at the moment, but I was just like, wow, you know, I've been doing this thing for 14 years, and uh, the the fact that the UFC or or the people watching and the fans appreciated the passion and the heart that went into that fight and was just really, really nice. And it was just so cool, you know, as a martial artist and as a competitor that uh, they really appreciated it. And, and then, yeah, after I was just like, Oh, wow. Okay. All right. We got a, we got a 50 K bonus. All right, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. And, and you, and the cool thing about it is you, you spent the money on, uh, on the cranked effect, which uh, uh, people, if they haven't seen it, you, you got a whole TV crew and everything. And you've, you've made this series, um, you know, just what sort of prompted that idea and how's it been going, uh, doing all the filming and everything. Yeah. So, um, I, I'm I'm a huge nerd when it comes to like filmmaking and cameras and gear and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, after that, uh, after we got, um, after I got the bonus, you know, we I went on vacation with my family and then you know we went, uh, we're at the at the store and we're like, man, you know, I really want it. I, you know, this camera has been on my Amazon cart for the longest time, dude, and then I'm ready to pull the trigger. And it's just something to, and an investment, you know. And and as as a fighter. As a fighter, it's kind of tough to uh, to make ends meet, you know, especially at a, at, a, at the lower level. So I, I need to do and need to be proactive at, you know, getting my getting my name out there. And and you know, truthfully, you only see 15 minutes at a time of us, you know, uh, you only see us compete in the cage. But there's a whole another backstory of of whether it's me or whether it's GSP or whether it's 
it's a uh, Tyrone Woodley, you know, and, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a, it's a cool platform for me to get out there and, and also attach my name to sponsors and supporters that will actually help me out on, uh, on this journey. Yeah, it's a great idea. And I, you know, I encourage fighters that, you know, to film as much as you can, because again, it's, it's free content and it's getting people to under, you know, kind of get to know you a little bit better, which I think is awesome. Um, what, what's the reaction been uh, from people that have watched it? Have people really been digging it and enjoying uh, seeing, uh, you know, going into your, your life, so to speak? Yeah, man, you know, and, and I'm super, super, man, blessed and humbled that, uh, that we've been getting a lot of positive reviews. You know, my, um, I'm very fortunate, too, that my wife's a filmmaker. So nice. <laughs> she, that she, helps. But she, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it helps big time. So we just we film, you know, we just have fun. We just do a thing. And then she, man, she she does her magic on the computer. But, uh, you know, the whole premise of the show is uh, is to really like uh, to really inspire, you know, like, um. You know, growing up in the islands, I never really had a professional athlete come to the school, you know, when I was in school and being like, hey, man, if this is what you want to do, you can do this. You know, all you got to do is you got to take these steps that I never really had that. You know, there's only a couple options living on the islands. You know, it's either go to school, get a job, uh, stay on the island, work or, you know, live off the government or join the military. You know, so there was not really much. And and, uh, I'm not saying that those are bad things. It just wasn't for me. And I, I had this other path. Yeah. I had this I had this path and, and and what I want to accomplish with the show is that hey man if you want to if you want to be a a pro MMA fighter dude there there is a way you know go do it if you want to be a pianist there's go do it you want to open up a business you can do it you know so that's the whole premise of the show and then also too it's a, it's a way for me to uh to create more media and create a you know create another platform for sponsors to to you know to attach sponsors to to support no, it's a, it's an awesome idea. Um, now, at some point in this interview, we got to talk about your fight because uh, it is a pretty big guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, about, no, 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 yeah. no. That, that was all me. I wanted to talk all about that. Um, but uh, of course, you're, you're going into enemy territory. You're taking on Damian Brown. Uh, first off, uh, is this your first time going to Australia, or have you been there before? I've been to Cairns, but that was a long time ago. Uh, I I hear a lot of great things when I hear Sydney's super beautiful. So I can't wait to to go and and uh, yeah and check it out. Unfortunately. I'm fighting a guy from Australia, you know, so I'm going to be behind enemy lines, but uh, it's all good. It's all good sport. So I hear he's a great guy anyway, so it's going to, it's no big deal. Um, what's the flight time for you uh, going from Guam all the way over there? Ooh, man. So United used to fly directly to Sydney, but I, something happened uh, from Guam. Uh, and so I'm like, now like we have to fly all the way to Taipei or fly to Korea, and then and then we gotta catch a flight from there all the way to to Sydney. So it's uh it's gonna be a hike. It's gonna be a hike. How when when are you actually like leaving? When's the when's the traveling actually start? Uh, we leave. I get there. We leave on Tuesday, I think Tuesday morning, and then we get there Wednesday morning. Okay. Oh wow. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that that's kind of crazy. Yeah. And we're in the same time zone. Yes. Oh, that that's true. That's true. Okay, that's interesting. Um, how do you feel like you match up against Brown in this fight? He's got the seventeen and ten record. Uh, obviously, a seasoned vet like yourself. How do you see yourself matching up against him? I think stylistically, I think it's going to be a good fight. You know, uh, as soon as when I when I got the name from my manager, um, they, yeah, Damian Brown. What do you think? I was like, dude, Ben, where do I sign? Where do I sign? Uh, you know, if there's one thing that, uh, or there's a couple things that Damian Brown brings, man. He's he's tough as freaking nails. He's tough as they come. Uh, he's durable as they come, and he comes with a big gas tank. You know, and 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 you know, f- on previous fights for for my fights, you know, I I have to really assess, right? And and uh, especially my my fight against Neil Magny and my fight against uh, Lee. You know, my gas isn't my best. Uh, isn't my my best takeaway from, you know, from, from my, from my game. So, you know, I, I'm so glad that I had eight to six weeks to really concentrate on that and work with a good conditioning coach and, and just, um, yeah. And, and just prepare properly. What about training camp? Is, has it just sort of been business as usual training with the same guys helping you get ready for this fight? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I like to say that I, I would like to say, man, James, that, that, that I prepare, prepare the same for every fight, you know, every fight is the biggest fight, but you know, this is my first fight camp, uh, my first full camp for the UFC, you know. So uh, the, the coolest thing is is the way that I'm approaching training, uh, approaching every session. It's really it's really cool to see to see me grow up in the sport, you know, <laughs> personal, the personal growth. So it's so cool. Excellent. And uh, how do you sort of see this fight uh, unfolding on November 18th? Um, of course, man, I see myself getting the win, uh, man, I, I can't sleep at night because I'm visualizing all these different things. Um, 
I'm not going to tell you the game plan because Damian Brown's probably watching this and he's going to, and your coaches are watching it and they're going to dissect it. No, exactly. No, you uh, got to be careful with that yeah. stuff, man. You got to keep it uh, tight lip. You know, no, 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 for sure. Yeah, no, but, uh, but yeah, I, I definitely see myself, um, uh, getting the win and, and I'm ready for a quick win or even going all three rounds, man, because, because of how durable he is. Do you like doing all this international travel? I mean, obviously you're in Guam, so it's, you know, it's a little bit different, but, uh, do you want to fight back in the States after your next fight? Do you have like a preference or are you just going to kind of see whatever the UFC gives you? Um, I like to see whatever the UFC gives me. I mean, uh, I, eventually I would like to fight in Vegas, you know, okay. uh, have you never, have you never and then, Vegas? you know, I never, no, I mean, I was there for the ultimate fighter, you know, that didn't really count. There's no crowd or anything, but yeah, you know, like, uh, you know, I just want to fight in these big places where, where I've, where I've seen fights and, you know, Madison now, now, now they're in Madison Square Garden, you know, so these are all places that, uh, that I want to go, but honestly, Living on an island, you're gonna to have to get on a plane anyway, so everything is international. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> so, a good point. Yeah, that, that's a good yeah, point. Um, yeah. Anywhere, 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 it doesn't matter. Before I let you go, uh, what are you watching on TV right now uh, that's helping you get through, uh, get through training camp right now? Is there anything you're watching on Netflix or anything like that? Well, Stranger Things just kind of the Stranger season Things two, Part Two right. came out, yep. so season two, yeah. So, so we're. Uh, we're working on our way getting getting back into it uh fight camp so now now that I'm kind of like tailoring down um I think we're going to finish the season. I'm just going to binge watch that thing tonight. Nice. Good call. <laughs> I like that. Get get right through it. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You just get right through it. I like that. Um it's uh, UFC Fight Night 121. It's coming up here November 18th. Uh, Frank, it's always great talking to you, man. I already feel more positive after uh, having our conversation. You're such a positive guy. Uh wh- where can uh, people get a hold of you on social media and if you got any thank yous or shout outs? The floor is yours, man. Uh, man, you can find me on all social media platforms on Twitter, Crank Effect. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Frank the Crank, or even on Facebook, Frank the Crank. Uh, check out my YouTube show, um, Crank Effect. You can just search that on my YouTube on my YouTube channel, um, and you can find it on all my social media platforms. I'd just like to thank you, man, and thank all the fans, and uh, thank everyone from back home, my wife, my son, and my family. There's uh, there's just so much to uh, just so much to mention, and I, I'm just really, really, really blessed and humbled for the opportunity that I get to showcase my skills against a really tough guy, Damian Brown, on um, UFC Sydney, November 